Of all the tractor mods that I've done, this fan has turned out to be one of my favorites, especially in hot weather. Another important consideration was where to mount the fan, and I wanted it placed where it could blow up under my hat, so in other words, low enough, uh, not high on the rops, but low enough so that uh, if I had a wide brim hat or whatever, it could blow across my neck and my face. And I also wanted it to be able to blow from the driver's seat, or if I'm in the backhoe, to be able to angle it back and get the benefits from back there. First I wanted a 12 volt fan that was screw mountable rather than clip on and I preferred that it be metal rather than plastic. I found this little gem on Amazon for $17. Unfortunately it's no longer available. However there's some almost identical fans available on Amazon for prices ranging from $25 to $38. I'll have some links to them along with a materials list in the companion page to the video on my website. You'll find a link to it in the description. Next comes figuring out how to mount it on the ROPS in a way that allows an easy way to put the fan on when I need it and take it off when I don't. I settled on using a piece of angle iron cut from an L-beam. Now this happens to be 3 8 inch thick, but it certainly doesn't need to be. It's just what I could get easily and for free. This will become a versatile platform for other accessories. In this picture, I've just finished drilling the holes for the U-bolts to hold it to the ROPS. Speaking of which, I used 3 8 inch U-bolts 3 inches wide and 4 inches long. The angle iron is mounted to the left side of the ROPS, just above the bend. It is 4 inches tall, and the front face is 4 inches wide, and it is 6 inches long. I cut a notch in the top of the face 1 and a quarter inches wide, and 1 and 3 eighths inches from the edge which centers it. The notch is 3 sixteenths inches deep. I drilled and tapped a 1032 hole 2 inches from the edge and 3 quarters of an inch from the bottom. I also drilled 4 3 8 inch holes for the U-bolt spaced as shown. Oh, and I primed and painted it black. To protect the ROPS, I cut a piece of 4 inch by 4 inch piece of rubber sheet from a pond liner scrap to go between the angle iron and the ROPS. I also put pieces of heat shrink tubing on the U-bolts for the same reason. The fan is mounted to a 4 by 9 by 3 inch steel corner brace made by Stanley, same as the ones I used on the side LED lights. Only difference is I cut about an inch off the bottom, but that's optional. I used a 1032 wing grip screw, which screws into the 1032 threaded hole in the angle iron. I also added a number 10 star lock washer to keep it from coming loose. The fan is mounted to the corner brace with three half inch long 8x32 screws. The holes in the brace are tapped for 832. The hook plate is made from a piece of 1 and 1 8 inch by 1 8 inch thick steel flat bar I had on hand, but you could also make one by cutting up a 1 inch wide corner bracket. The hook plate is 2 inches long with a half inch 90 degree turn down and it is spaced with a 3 8 inch gap from the corner brace to hook over the angle iron in the notch. Finally the hook plate is screwed to the top of the corner brace with 3 3 8 inch long 8 by 32 screws and number 8 star lock washers. The holes in the corner brace are tapped for 8 32. The hole for the wing grip screw is 1 and a half inches from the edge of the corner brace which centers it and three inches from the top of the corner brace. The fan plugs into the 12 volt outlet I installed when I added the auxiliary fuse box. This stout attachment system opens up the door for all kinds of useful accessories to mount here, such as an upgrade to an AC unit, or maybe a coffee maker. GP Outdoors would like that, or a potbelly stove to keep warm in the winter, or maybe a TV for entertainment. The possibilities are unlimited. Tell me in the comments what else you would attach here. When not in use, I remove the fan and hang it on the wall until warm weather returns. 
you enjoy these videos, please help me keep them coming by clicking the like button, commenting below, and subscribing. Thanks for watching.